How's it going? It's Austin with Austin with Xerxes Element Adventures. Today we're going to be detailing Xerxes. We're going to be reviewing the toaster grease and we're going to be going to a car show tomorrow where Xerxes is going to compete. I'm, not, I'm going to try not to talk a lot in this one because this is going to be a very, very exciting video. I'll do a step by step on how I detail and then we'll just go with the flow. On a side note too, I got a little something in the mail. Got my passport. So we're going to be able to go to meets up in Canada. So if you know any good meets up in Canada, please feel free to reach out onto my Instagram, Xerxes underscore the underscore element. Just let me know. Who knows? If you're from down here in Pennsylvania area, we can caravan up. But without further ado, buckle up. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Okay, so there are some products that I'm not going to show um, just because they're standard household items and I'll explain them. So the first thing I use is the Armor All Fresh X Carpet, Cup, Carpet Upholstery and Cleaner. Um, I use that first and then I actually use a um, Mr. Clean um, to scrub the bottoms of the, seat, of the floors and uh, all the interior um, cargo area just to make it clean and to make it look shiny and smell fresh um, is typically something you'd use on hardwood floors and then I use a mixture of chemical guys interior clean um, interior quick detailer um, I use that on the floors after they're done drying I use it on my dash I use it on all my uh, interiors on my doors and then I go over everything um, in all on my windows at least with pledge um, but, you know something you clean your house windows with and then I use the speed wipe um, spray gloss and quick detailer for the exterior um, I use that for my wax it delivers a nice brilliant shine to the outside of your element I use some grits um, engine cleaner to get some grime and stuff off of the engine and then whenever I'm all done and I get to the meat I use the black magic tire wet on my tires there's no point in shining up your tires if the roads are going to be kind of musky and dirty um, so I shine my tires up when I get there I also use this to uh, make my engine bay look a little wet um, and believe it or not if you spray it in the right spot it is in fact safe um, and then this time we're actually going to use the toaster grease on our door handles and see how that goes um, and the first thing is I take everything out of my dash and everything out of my little cubbies and I move them all out um, there's still some things to take out here, but as you can see, um, there's still some sand from the B3 meat, and if you haven't seen that, check up in the top right corner, um, you will see a link to the B3 meat. Um, go ahead and watch that video after you're done watching this one, of course. Um, I bought a pump and a uh, shade for the meat, but you can see the floors are dirty. Um, you can see my cubbies have a little bit of sand in them. Um, a little bit of sand on the mats there and um, just everything's kind of dirty 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 we're gonna go back in the back here and in the back I mean it's got a little bit of some scuffing and some dirt here that you can like easily take off with your finger um, my blankets and stuff I do keep during the car show just because to show um, that it's a camping vehicle I have Narcan and fire extinguisher and stuff that I put in here. You get extra points for any first aid and fire extinguishers um, at this show. So that's what we're going to do. But um, I'll show you guys the layout when we get there. Uh, we're going to start cleaning Xerxes. Okay, so I have my Mr. Clean ready um, for whenever it's time to scrub the floors. But I'm going to use this shop vac and we're going to vacuum everything, dirt, dust that we can out of all the cubbies and off the floors and then we're going to take the mats out and I'm going to spray them down. Now, I'm not going to show that part because we're only going to keep my driver's side mat in when it comes to the meat but we're going to get them cleaned up and scrubbed up and as you can see there's a spot there so after we're done with the vacuum we're going to scrub the seats. So I took at least the passenger side um, 
out. I didn't take the driver's side because I want to try and tackle that spot right there. And there's a couple kind of like right here, but we're going to use the carpet and upholstery cleaner and we're going to try and clean it. Now it does have a detachable brush. So what I do is just spray it right on and it kind of clumps up. So don't want to do that because <laughs> I'm going to get a microfiber and clean that right off the bat. But I'm going to spray and then just spread it around with the brush. Um, we'll set it up here, take the brush, and just get right on it and tackle that spot right off the bat. The rest, try to just I spread it around as painful as it sounds, and then you let it soak. Okay, so the seats are still a little bit wet, but you can tell the difference right there on that spot. It was right here. Um, it's not there anymore. And then what I did is I folded the seats up in the back. And anything that there was dust or dirt, I swept it out with a push broom out the back. And then anything in those little crevices there, I vacuumed it up. So now we're going to take our Mr. Clean and just... Make sure you get all that excess off of there and try to drip it off as best you can. And we're going to actually go in here and scrub this whole back. Okay, so everyone's been waiting for the toaster grease review. Um, so this is made by toasterparts.com. It's toaster grease, plastic restoration for the cult. The one and only toaster grease. So we're going to actually um, put it on multiple places here first. Uh, this piece of this mirror, we're going to put it on the mirror and clean the guts off, off with the microfiber while we're at it. And then we're also going to restore our handles. So, let's see what the instructions say. Okay, so the first step was to actually wash and dry uh, thoroughly. So that's what this is doing. This is drying here. This part is fine though. So, I'm going to take this microfiber cloth and the toaster grease and we're going to apply a small amount to this rag and then we're going to go in a circular motion on the area of which the toaster grease is going to be applied. So I'm actually going to set you guys kind of up here, kind of tilted, but you can still see this piece right here. Now I'm going to apply toaster grease to the rag. I like a good amount there. And then we're going to run it in a circular motion. And as we can see, the life is ever so quickly coming back to the black plastic. It's a beautiful restoration right there. And get into that crevice here. See if we can get into here. But this is an absolutely wonderful product just based on this this result here. And we're going to compare that to the other side. And you want to try to avoid any uh, paint whenever you're doing this so like be very careful going up along these edges make sure you have a dry spot on the cloth if you make a oopsie uh, to clean it but as long as you're precise then you shouldn't have an issue but we're gonna do this part of the mirror now just to make it look shiny and restore that beautiful new gloss And compared to that gray of what it was to what it is now and we'll go to the other side here actually while I was off camera I did do the waxing already and uh, everything on the inside uh, my camera died so I had to just go and do it but you'll be able to see an after here but there was before the toaster grease and then after 
you can see a significant difference. So I definitely recommend this product. And I will actually put a link in the description of this video so that you can go and get the toaster grease. Okay, so now we're going to use a combination of products. We're going to use the uh, Griot's Garage Engine Cleaner. And we're actually going to use this interior detailer. I already have the microfiber cloth with it. But we're going to set that there. We're going to use the interior detailer to shine up under here. Because it's not really going to matter. Um, what we're going to do, though, is spray the Griot's Garage. Griot's Garage, whatever it is. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Let's just spray a little bit on the engine bay here. And we're just going to scrub it in. You're supposed to let it sit and you're supposed to wash it. Um, but I've honestly, the last time I did this, I had just sprayed it on. And I could tell a bit of a difference. Um, even if you just spray it on here real good and you let it sit for a second. Just wipe it. You can tell the difference. When we get to the show, though, we're going to spray back here. We're going to wipe it down as best we can back in that corner there, especially. Uh, we're going to clean all this up. And you're going to tell a bit of a difference here. So let's do it. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of touching up under here when we get to the car show because it's going to get dirty as we run it. I'm going to carry a microfiber cloth with me and things like that, but. This is the after of everything. This is kind of setting in here. Um, the door handles look significantly better. The inside's great. That dirt spot right there, we're actually going to cover up with that mat because I forgot to scrub it. But that's what we're going to use. Uh, the windows are looking good. I'm going to move this down now. Everything is looking fantastic with Xerxes. And we're going to be excited to see everybody at the meet. Or, just kidding, it's a show. We're going to be um, competing. Yeah, we're going to compete. And we're going to be running in um, a Vans and SUV class. Because, why not? But, I hope you guys liked my little, uh, I guess, detailing slash review video. Um, but I'll see you guys at the show. Or on the way. So we are at the show. I'm starting to kind of set some things up, and the guy actually let me use a part of his tent because it is raining outside. But we're going to do a walk around of all the cars, and I'm going to mute the audio. So there's not going to be any audio, just due to copyright. So let's take a look.
Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of reviewing on this first. I'm gonna try to clean the underneath a, li a little more. I mean, it's pretty sprayed down and good. Um, I'm just gonna continue to monitor the outside with a microfiber. Might have to touch up on that water there. Um, everything's pretty much cleaned up inside and I actually set up the back already. So you always wanna have your element on your manual, uh, your consumer information. I put the dealer installed genuine accessories in there too. Um, but I put my keys with my Element DIY uh, keychain here. The other side is carbon fiber. It's the only way I could flip over my tumbler from my event. Um, carry a fire extinguisher first aid kit in your car. You get extra points on that. And I also carry Narcan. I work in the field of drug and alcohol. So that just comes uh, second nature. And then I have all my events on that side there. And everything is looking really snazzy. Um, so we just kind of hope and pray that we get to bring home a trophy. And so far it looks like there's only a couple of entries, so I'm at least guaranteed something today. But only time will tell. Okay, so I totally forgot that they added a new class for this show. And it's a, specifically for Jeeps. So let's check all of them out. Let's see. I have a Z class. What year is this one? What do we got? Yeah. It's 1999. It's gorgeous. Nice blue on this one here, guys. Some blue flashers. That one's got a guy coming out of it. It's pretty cool. The Jeep Rubicon. Another Wrangler here. Wonderful light bar up on top. Multiple Jeep Wranglers. It's all Jeep Wranglers, pretty much. But it's a nice bull bar in the front there. I love how open this one is. Nice red engine bay. 3.6 liter VBT on the inside. All of these Jeeps are going to be in their own class and competing with that ramp there. Um, they're going to have everything flexed. You can see this one here is bounced up on the other guys. Uh, this is class AA. I'm not sure what AA is. This guy's got his own Instagram and YouTube cool this lift is insane it's like almost as tall as I am pretty tall if I get the flex on this, this axle and suspension here is just crazy wow and the size of the tires on this Jeep. Wow. This is going to be a pretty cool show when the Jeeps start competing. And I'll make sure we get some footage of that, guys.
right, so the judge came through already. Um, now it's just a matter of time to see where we place um, in uh, this show's J class vans and SUVs. Hopefully we, hopefully we place. I have, a, I have a feeling that we might. So it's just a matter of time. And now we wait. All right, guys. So what they're doing now is they're going to be going and doing what's called a turtle race. So. Um, Jeeps are going to be like putting themselves into drive and like jumping out and seeing how slow they go and how far they go. So we're going to go over there and uh, take a look here. I'm just kind of relaxing Jackson, just kicking my feet up off the back and just chilling out because the judges already came through and checked out the element. Um, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be taking something home today, um, hopefully. But we're going to go check out the turtle races. Okay, so we're going to be heading over to the awards ceremony, so stay tuned and I'll let you know how I do. Second place goes to Austin Belair with his uh, Tango Red Pearl 2010 Honda Element. Alright, so this show did come out in my favor. As you've seen, I won second place in J-Class SUVs and vans. The guy that won first place was a guy, he was in a couple of magazine or magazine or something like that and he uh he's a real genuine guy i mean just getting to talk to him and getting to know him he's pretty cool and then i did two raffles and ended up winning both so we got some la's totally awesome uh carpet and upholstery cleaner as well as some wheel shine and some microfiber cloths there the real soft touch ones it's leaking out the bottom so i'm gonna put this on this box here because it's right on my seat but luckily I have 50 multi-purpose microfiber cloths that I'll be able to keep in the element just in case that um, I want as well um, so it was ultimately it was a wonderful last show um, I want to thank everyone for coming along on this journey with me um, and if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed and uh, put that bell notification icon on and Get some notifications because we're going to be putting some more videos up but i'm glad you guys like the toaster grease review and you got to see a little bit of the show um i know there's some audio maybe taken out some places or some things replaced um that was because of copyright i'm trying to eventually get monetization um so going to be removing some audio in some places and chopping some things down and I'm going from there but again thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like the video make sure you comment say what you guys want to see next and make sure you're subscribed with the bell notification on so that you can see more videos and uh take care of yourselves guys see you next time peace <laughs>